yes people welcome to inter ca cost and management accounting icai exam paper evaluation july 21 well this was a pretty simple paper as such many of the concepts have been tested upon all chapters are given at least some weightage majorly in this entire pa paper biggest take away here was that jksc students you people will be easily able to manage this entire paper 100 marks in 3 hours time well so we people now go forward with uh, item by item question by question paper analysis first up is question number 1 which was the compulsory question 20 marks four questions of five marks each the first one is question number 1a that was dealing with abc analysis that we have done in stock valuation chapter question number 17 if you people see at the question over here they have also given to you people the percentages in which category a category b and category c have to be bifurcated so accordingly this is pretty much manageable we people move to the next one that was question number 1 b this is a simple question as such for reapportionment based on step ladder method that we people have done in question number 9 the first question of overhead chapter in the main chapter of absorption costing well your as you all know the absorption rates can be removed only for the main departments main departments were my production departments which were purchase packing and distribution departments so accordingly this is pretty much manageable as such yeah the number of labor hours over year that can be easily removed because the number of employees are given to you people and you simply have to multiply that by the hours and then we can go ahead like so next we people come as of now to sub question c that's also a simple question of economic order quantity what we had done for raw material economic order quantity that has mentioned over here for economic batch quantity economic batch quantity applies to fg how much quantity of fg has to be produced in one batch at one row such that my total of the setup cost and total of the carrying cost of finished goods is minimized in cocktail so this is pretty much manageable okay next we people move to question number 1 part d marginal costing question number 17 lc coat system question wherein we people had done that manual semi automatic fully automatic fortunately here in this question they have only asked me semi automatic versus fully automatic so only one cost in difference point will be found cost in difference point that point at which the total cost of both the alternatives remain the same yes people none of them was better off than the other it was nothing but the difference in total fixed cost upon difference in variable cost per unit apart from that they have also asked me over here the break even point of each individual alternative which will be total fixed cost which is given to me divide that by the contribution per unit contribution per unit will be selling price that they have already given minus the variable cost per unit that also has been given to me okay so next we people move to question number 2 that has three sub questions over here 10 marks 5 marks and 5 marks the first 10 mark question is a straight forward question based on simple cost sheet ka format that is the chapter that we always do question number 5 an elaborate question that we have in our textbooks this is just the uh, abridged um, replica of that basically and pretty manageable as such you just have to fill up everything in that format that we already have discussed in our regular lectures next we people move to sub part b again a 5 mark question joint product by product chapter only 5 mark question they have targeted over your depth of processing of three products which three products which are s p and n which are my joint products as such product a cannot be processed for the depth of processing does not arise so in this question they have also given you joint cost which is entirely redundant not useful at all 
here all we have to do is nothing but we people have to analyze the sales value of the output post separation and after further processing the difference of that compare with the post separation manufacturing cost and you people will either get aapka incremental profit or incremental loss whatever it is and that will be your decision simple so we people now move to part c of this uh, main question number 2 a very straight forward question of uh, employee turnover labor turnover three methods that we people have done beta one was separation method other was replacement method third one was flux method so they have asked you people as per the separation method and the flux method over your next we people move to roman number 3 that has ideally two questions over here of 10 10 marks each the first question that we people have over here is nothing but reconciliation statement they have given you people the profit as per financial accounts that is 57000 rupees you people have to prepare a cost sheet to find out the profit as per cost accountancy and then you have to reconcile the profits by doing add and less as taught to you people in your regular lectures next we people move over here to part b wherein it is a nice question for activity based the costing if you people remember activity based costing applies only and only to overheads yes people and they have asked you a simple pretty straight forward question just here they have asked you in part to calculate the cost of unused the capacity which implies that jitna bhi capacity was the potential you have not utilized that whatever is the difference or whatever is utilized and whatever was the potential that remains unused multiply that by the activity cost driver rate and you people will be able to find the answer to part 2 as well next we people move to part 4 roman number 4 in which i believe you people have three questions 10 marks 5 marks and 5 marks over here well here you people are given question number 4 a a pretty straight forward question of process costing chapter 3 process is given to you people as such this is the simplest possible question here there are no wip stocks so it gets very very simple no equivalent production over here next here the only difference over here is this beta they have given to you people the cost per unit of process y being transferred to process z they have not given to you people the percentage of normal loss or in department y in process y so that can be easily found out by substituting uh, the things the figures given in that cpu formula cost per unit formula total cost minus strap value of normal loss given to you upon input quantity minus point of normal loss point of normal loss not given the answer is 4 rupees per unit find the quantity of normal loss ka figure over here and you will simply then get it in per percentage terms jitna bhi input quantity tha whatever the answer you people got of that quantity of normal loss percentage you can easily find it next we people move over here to a five mark question beta this question as such is nothing but service costing question what they have tried to as such do over here is this they have given to you people the cost per rupee of insured value they have not given to you people the it cost prepare the entire statement divide that by the amount of the insurance the amount of the insurance value you will get the answer as cost per rupee of insured value which is given to you people as 0.002 and then you people can find out the balancing figure over there next they have asked you the cost per policy so whatever the total cost that you people have got divide that by the number of policies sold that is 2800 you people can easily manage it next we people go over here to part number c of this entire roman number 4 this is contract costing chapter beta fortunately the first year 
सो अकॉर्डिंगली नो ओपनिंग स्टॉक या ओपनिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी का डिटेल्स विल कम ओवर यूर इट इज अ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन बेटा यूर आई कैन से दे हैव गिवन टू यू पीपल ट्वेंटी एथ फेब दे हैव गिवन एज द सर्टिफिकेशन डेट सो एनी वॉट डन पोस्ट दैट 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 विल बी वर्क अनसर्टिफाइड दे हैव ऑल्सो गिवन सम क्लोजिंग मटीरियल एट साइट ओवर यूर then they have given no adjustment for special planned you people can either write the opening value 40000 on the debit side closing value 25000 on the credit side or better simply just write the depreciation of 15000 rupees so this this was done next we people move to question number 5 this had i believe two questions of 10 10 marks each Question number five: A labor cost variances in standard costing chapter. They have tried to drill you people as such over here in idle time, which was pretty much dealt well in that question of question number three, page number two zero seven of your textbook. Your by the way, they have also asked you people total labor gang variance. Gang variance is nothing but mixed variance, my friends. Yes. Next, we people move over here to part B, budgetary control. In budgetary control, you people as such have sales budget, production budget, consumption budget, purchase budget, sales budget FG, production budget FG. In this question, consumption budget, purchase budget, it's one and the same because no RM stocks are given to you all. So that is what they have asked you over here. quantity sold is given selling price is given you can easily find the sales budget based on the quantity of opening and closing stocks find the quantity to be produced of the fg you will get the production budget for producing that fg how much raw material will be required that you people can get the consumption budget and that that itself will become my purchase budget over here okay next we people move to question number 6 theory question 20 marks So accordingly, your ideally speaking, they have given you five questions out of which four have to be attempted. We always say at JK Shah classes, try to attempt theory. It is the best bet to complete the examination paper in that allotted one eighty minutes. Well, your responsibility centers you people have elaborate notes pertaining to this in cost sheet chapter ka theory. then you have margin of safety margin of safety is nothing but those units which are beyond the break even point they provide a safety cushion that in the forthcoming period even if my sales fall down by this much quantity margin of safety wala still you people will be able to survive loss to nahi hoega that that is How to calculate the margin of safety? Margin of safety calculation simple: total profit divided by contribution per unit. To put it differently, margin of safety are those units which contribute to earning of my profits. We have done this extensively in our marginal costing chapter. Okay, next we people move to question C. Therein they have asked you people benefits of Rowan scheme. we already know rovan is much better as compared to yeah halse system reason being that in the name of speed the quality is not compromised so accordingly say for example we have done that question number 4 in our textbook wherein you people remember 8 hours was a time allowed one person does that work in 6 hours the same person does that work in 2 hours they on the same amount of bonus same way if you people remember one person who does the work in 5 hours the same person does the work in 3 hours time allowed was 8 hours they earn the same bonus so accordingly a person who is less efficient a person who is more efficient they earn the same bonus as such this itself was the point where in rowan scheme dissuades a worker from increasing their speed to such an extent that the quality was compromised which we don't want as the manufacturer as the employer next we people move to part d that is build operate transfer scheme in service cost costing this is nothing but as we people all know there is a short note given in the practice manual study material as well build operate transfer it simply means someone will build that entire thing they will operate and ultimately after a point of time it will be transferred to someone else a short note pretty much okay manageable 
स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन स्टडी मटेरियल ओके नेक्स्ट वी मूव टू वी डी एनालिसिस As we always say, ICI loves asking questions wherein you cannot bluff anything. If you know VED, you know it full uh, full shot like. So accordingly, VED vital, essential, desirable. It is nothing but something similar to ABC analysis. Vital, most important inventory management is the crux over here. If you don't do better inventory management, if you run out of stock, your entire production may collapse. next was essential not as important as vital but much more than desirable level so accordingly thick thick inventory management is required over here and then we have a desirable desirable is चलता है टाइप्स योर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल नॉट रिक्वायर्ड लूज कंट्रोल इट्स प्रिटी मच ओके है सो आइडियली स्पीकिंग माय फ्रेंड्स आउट ऑफ 125 मार्क्स पेपर दैट दे हैव आस्ट 100 मार्क्स प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चंस 25 मार्क्स थियोरी क्वेश्चन आई बिलीव आउट ऑफ दैट स्पेशली 100 मार्क्स प्रैक्टिकल you people should be able to solve entirely taking inspiration only and only from jtsc textbook so yes here it is in fact even that theory question that you people have much of that is also dependent on the practical questions that we people have done except for that responsibility center wala question except for that ved analysis wala question apart from that and build operate transfer so i believe it is pretty much manageable 115 marks ka paper based on practical questions that we people have done at jk shah classes so thank you so very much i hope you people pass out with flying colors and god bless you all bye